Yeah, that crowd uh, was certainly in the hundreds, and so were the temperatures out here. They didn't march very far, only about a block and a half. But again, the majority of people here did want to say that they were here in show of solidarity with the police and a city leadership. But uh, others say that that group is the problem. The only way we are going to get better in anything is together. At the Oak Park Community Center, Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn and Mayor Daryl Steinberg were among the city leaders who took a knee and had a moment of silence with hundreds of others for George Floyd. Nine minutes, he said. So today, we can sit for just one moment. Afterwards, the group marched about a block and a half to Shiloh Baptist Church. <laughs> Some played instruments. <laughs> a few came to discourage people from marching with police and other city leaders. Brazy Liberty says he came to disrupt the event because he feels the narrative is dangerous. All the officers that are involved with brutalization and criminalization are still working on the police force and they don't really care. If they cared, they would have done something about it. However, repeatedly, other marchers and not police tried to silence Liberty. You don't speak for everybody. Well, you go home then. We can march with whomever we want to. Shiloh's senior pastor Anthony Sadler says he asked for community and city leaders to join with Police Chief Han specifically to help foster solidarity and open up a conversation he believes will eventually lead to solutions. Because we are one community. Disruptions did continue after the event as some tried to confront Chief Han and his officers. I've done nothing to stop the killing and murdering of my people. Both Pastor Sadler and Chief Han say they welcome the opposing views. She saw hundreds of people march that believe in we got to get there together and believe in this city and believe in this community. Yes, there were some people here that obviously had a different message, but I think that's all part of how we move forward. And Pastor Sadler believes nothing will be resolved without bringing everyone to the same table. Political uh, electees must be at the table, but just as important, if not more important, is you, our young people. You must be at the table as we seek solutions together. Now, it was very hot out here at the time. It still is, and unfortunately, with so many people packed together and everyone, of course, wearing a mask because of uh, COVID-19 concerns, uh, there was at least one person who did faint from the heat. Fortunately, uh, they were able to get them out of the crowd and over to some paramedics and cool them down uh, rather quickly. But again, uh, the heat there definitely played a factor in this march. Reporting live in Oak Park tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News.